Hey guys, Moan Pober here, and today I'm going to talk about how do you get the fucking money, and this is part two. Let's get to it. So hey, this is Moan Pober. Welcome back to another video. This channel is all about how to buy and grow businesses, ideally by acquisition, so by going and buying other companies. In my opinion, this is the best way for you to go if you want to be a business owner. Many people talk about starting businesses from scratch. And I am here to show you in this channel that you can go and buy existing profitable business and literally spend the same amount of time that it takes you to get a client even. You can instead go and buy existing business. It will take you the same amount of capital even sometimes or less and it's just more fun. And this is the best thing you can do to your existing business as well if you have one. You can go and buy a different complementary business to basically bolt on and bring to, to your existing one. That's what the biggest companies out there are doing. I keep mentioning the idea of Facebook buying uh, WhatsApp or Instagram or Amazon buying Whole Foods. And you see those type of acquisitions all the time, especially in the public sector, but you can do the same with small businesses. So this is just, again, an overview, uh, but let's get to today's topic. So this is the second part of the videos on how to get the money for your deals. And again, many people talk to me and they tell me, hey, I'm looking for deals. I'm talking to business owners. But OK, let's say we move forward on a deal. How do I get the money to actually pay for those deals? And today we're going to talk about a few different, uh, I guess, or more opportunities for you to use when looking to buy businesses. And the first thing we're going to talk about today is cash flow lenders. So let's talk about them a little bit. So cash flow lenders basically loan you money based on the business predictable profitability. Uh, those loans are basically mostly for businesses or ideally you want to use them if your business, the business that you're looking to buy don't have tangible assets. And in the last video, we talked about asset based lenders where if you have things like accounts receivables or inventory or real estate, you can use asset based lenders to loan based on those assets. Um, today, I'm here to show you that basically if you don't have assets, on those the businesses you're looking to buy if you don't have assets to leverage you can go to cash flow lenders and they will loan you based on the business profitability conventional uh, cash flow lenders usually won't loan you more than 30 or 50 percent of the total deal value sba loans are actually uh, basically cash flow loans too um, but you, you many times can get those cash flow loans from regular banks or commercial banks as well now, if you can't get an SBA loan, what you want to do is to go to non-bank uh, lenders, basically. And again, if you're not a US citizen or you don't have the right credit, um, see my other videos. I talk about opportunities. You can use the SBA loan even if you're not a US citizen. So like getting a partner from the US to bring him into the deal as the person who's going to sign on the loan. Uh, but even if you can't do that, there are non-bank non lenders um, that will give you that loan or even regular banks that might give you cash flow loans. I guess the only thing to mention is that uh, SBA will have much better rates and interest rates versus if you go to non-bank lenders or uh, commercial regular banks if you want to take those type of loans. With every loan you take, you need to usually negotiate things like the repayment schedule or the personal guarantees and of course also the rates and fees of that loan. Now one thing to, to really remember about this space of buying businesses, in the end of the day, what you really need to focus on is getting the money. So if you have rates that are, I guess, not the best, but they are still going to fund the deal, you shouldn't care about that. Like if your rates, the rates and the interest that you need to pay to, to get that loan, basically going to destroy your deal, your deal just isn't good deal enough and you need to look for different deals. But in the end of the day, remember to get the loan is much more important than to get a cheaper loan, right? You need to get the money. You don't care if you get a, a, a cheaper money, right? You see what I mean? You want to do the deal, whatever it takes. So don't really dwell or spend too much time on, I guess, figuring out the interest rates and all that shit. Yes, it's important and you can negotiate and I'm going to talk about different ways in this video or in the next videos on how to negotiate between banks and play the banks between, in, 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 with one another. Uh, but in the end of the day, remember, your goal is to buy the business and you need to get that money to buy that business. So that should be your focus. Interest, interest rates and all that stuff. Yeah, it's good to, to, I guess, negotiate and try to get the best deal, obviously. But you need to remember where your focus should be, right? It's like, it's like people who start businesses, they focus on going and creating a logo versus going out there and creating leads and bringing sales, right? Which is actually should be their only focus until they're getting to like half a million or a million a year in sales, in my opinion. 
Um, but yeah, I hope that makes sense. Now you need to remember that in the end of the day, the, the, the internal credit committee is basically those in, those in the banks that decide on if and how much you're gonna get for those loans. So the person you're going to talk to, the banker or whoever you're gonna to talk to in the financial institution is usually just gonna be the salesperson. And then you're gonna to go to the committee to basically present your deal to them and they'll try to give you the best deal that they can. Now what you'll find out is that many times two different banks will give you basically a different offer on the same deal. Now, if that's the case, if you're getting a better deal here than the other bank, what you can do is go to their other bank and tell them, hey, you need to reconsider your offer because I got a better deal in a different bank. And that's how you play between banks. You go and tell them, hey, look, here's what I got here, here's what I got there, and just try to get eventually, obviously, the best deal that you can. Now, remember, it doesn't matter who you pick in the end of the day, you need to pick someone. So remember where your focus should be. I see too many people, like I saw people who basically negotiated their terms after they had an LOI for too long and they just lost the deal instead of just picking one and just going and closing the deal. So remember where your focus should be, right? To close the deal, get the money to close the deal. That's the, the most important and the only important thing. Only at this stage, so I'm talking after you have an LOI, you're getting legit proposals on your deal. That's probably when the uh, institution will want to see more kind of like projections on your business and what you expect to make with that business. So they want to make sure that your basically your business can cover their loan, right? Just makes sense. Uh, but that's initially when you just start to talk to, to uh, institutions, you don't even need that. You just need to give them their financials, the business financials and get proposals based on that. Now, at this stage, when they're actually serious about giving you the loan, obviously, they'll want to make sure you have the right team, the right people behind you with the experience who already did deals. If you don't have experience, it's going to be hard for you to sell yourself. Um, but ideally, you want to have people with experience in doing deals. Ideally, people with experience in the sector, they want to see and make sure that you have a team behind you that's going to cover their loan. Otherwise, they're not going to feel certain and they probably won't give you the loan. Eventually, you also need to negotiate covenants in your loan. You want the covenants because this will be basically give you the, the option to, to miss your projections and then you just make sure you're, not, you're avoiding, uh, I guess, bad circumstances in, in the deal. So yeah, I want to keep it short and really focused on each of, the, of those videos. Um, so this one is, I guess, more focused on cash flow lenders and the opportunities where you can use them. Obviously, remember, you want to use cash flow lenders, especially when you don't have tangible assets in the deal, when you can't raise capital on the receivables and inventory and real estate and things like that. And in that case, you need to go and find uh, other sources and cash flow lenders are, are great sources for that. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed it. We're going to do, I guess, one, at least one or two more videos in this, um, I guess, some kind of a playlist on how to get money for your deals. Uh, but yeah, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon. Hey guys, Moan Pobert here and thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment below, help me grow the channel because the more you help me grow the channel, the more deals I'll be able to do and the more I'll be able to give you more value. So please, if you didn't yet, like the video right now, subscribe right now and comment below on this video. Let me know your thoughts. And also check in the description below this video, there's a text description where you can have a link to a free business buying mastermind group that we have on Facebook. Join it right now if you're not in it yet. There are amazing people in there, people who are looking or doing deals on a regular basis and you can be part of this conversation. So go to the description right now. Also, I'm looking to create daily videos on the topics of buying and growing businesses and I need your help on having ideas for more topics. So in the description below, you also see a link for a survey where you give me your biggest question. You just fill in, fill in your personal details and I'll create a personalized video for you based on your specific question. So help me with that. Put your details below in the survey and give me ideas for videos. Do it right now after you join the Facebook group. And if you like this type of content or just in general looking to accelerate your growth and buy businesses faster and you want to take things to the next level, if you want to see if you're a fit to our partner program and basically have access to a team that did more than 300 deals, it's mainly me and my partner Kyle Ellen and we have a main CFO who was involved in many, many deals. So if you want access to that and you want us to be your partners, if you want access to us 24 seven, I mean access to me in my Skype, my personal email, my phone number if needed, and you want us 
to show you A to Z how to buy and grow businesses and how to grow by acquisitions and not just show you what to do, but also be there with you and help you close deals as your partners. We want to do more deals and we can help you do that. You'll learn everything from how to position yourself as a legit buyer, even if you have no experience, and how to use our track record as your dream team and position yourself as a legit buyer in front of business owners and brokers. How to then find motivated sales because everyone can find business owners and tell them that you want to buy their business, but most of them are not motivated to sell their business and we will show you how to find motivated sellers. We'll show you how to talk to those business owners, how to negotiate deals with them, how to get the financials from them and how to use our team to do all the calculations and make sure that the deal is a good deal. Because yes, you can buy a business, but what if it's a shitty business and you don't know how to calculate the right ratios? You don't want to be screwed in this space. You'll then see how to get financing on your, those deals. And not only that, we will open our, our contacts and the access to all the financial institutions that we know. We will show you how to get accountants and lawyers on success fees. And obviously we have our team to do that. So you won't need to even find them. And we'll then of course show you how to grow those businesses and how to make sure we have someone operating the day to day for us. Because unless you want to run businesses day to day because you're passionate about it, we highly suggest you not to do that. We can find someone to run the day to day for us while we in charge of the vision and setting goals for that manager. Not only that we're going to open our doors to all the financial institutions that you need, we are also going to put our personal capital into deals in our group of partners, in our shark tank. We're going to create some kind of a shark tank where we're going to look at deals that you want to buy and we potentially going to invest our own capital, basically going to put some equity kick into those deals. So many times, you know, you can buy a million dollar business, but you're missing 50 grand here, 100,000 here. And we are able to put our personal capital just because we believe in those deals. Those are our, the best deals out there. Investing in small businesses is, is the best thing an investor can do. And we will put the capital into some of those deals as well. So if you need help with that, you can apply to the program. If you never bought a business before, or if you have an existing business and you want to grow it by acquisitions and go and buy other complementary businesses. This is for people who understand that they need to invest in themselves in order to get to a point where they can buy a million dollar business. And it's also for, for people who understand that every day that go by and you're not buying another million dollar business and you're not owning another million dollar business, it's costing you million dollar. So if you're trying to learn about this space for one month or two months or one year or two years, every month that go by and you didn't buy a business cost you another $1 million. So don't hustle anymore to get another client for your business. Let's hustle together to buy a million dollar business as partners. And don't get me wrong, you can definitely try and do it on your own just by watching my free videos. Some of the info I have here, I literally paid multiple six figures to learn. But the partner program is for people who want to accelerate their growth, who want to have access to people and contacts and doors that they wouldn't have otherwise. This is for people who want to cut their learning curve in years. That is for people who are committed to take decisions right now and get results right now. So if you don't want to wait, go to moranpober.com forward slash talk and me or one of my team members will talk to you to see if it's a fit. The worst case is that you'll get a better clarity on your next steps in the space of buying businesses and will give you all the advice that you want. The best case is that you'll have access to a team that did more than 300 deals who will buy with you as your partners, your first or first, second or as many businesses as you want with you as soon as possible. So if you want, go right now to moranpober.com forward slash talk and I'll talk to you soon. I hope you enjoyed this video and the other videos on this channel like subscribe comment help me grow the channel help me buy more businesses so i can help you buy yours as well hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you soon